Well, the countdown to Christmas is on, and if you're going to be in the market for a Christmas tree, why not support a great cause with 100% of the proceeds here at Lee's Tree Lot, um, supporting kids in foster care programs, Paul. So what a great cause, and really, it is time to start looking for that tree, right? We're fast approaching the season, yes. <laughs> and so we have trees in now, uh, and it's early, very early in the season, but if you're planning on putting a tree up soon, you'd probably want to put up a tree that has pretty good quality to it. Okay, so great options here. Yeah, so we have uh, we have three right here that uh, the, the, the excellent thing about them is their needle retention. Even when they dry out, they still hold their needles, and so you got a, a tree that will take, get you through till Christmas. This is a Fraser fir, uh, silvery side on the bottom, tend to be kind of slender, strong branches, and, and nice, nice fragrant smell. Uh, beside it is a noble fir, classic, classic kind of a tree, which see, almost seen in a Walt Disney cartoon. cartoon. Uh, sort of a bluish green, strong branches, uh, layered, layered kind of a look, and excellent needle retention. Beside it is a kind of a specialty tree. We don't have a lot of these in, but it's called a Nordman. Lush, strong, almost a golden look to it in the, in the sunshine, uh, but no smell. No smell, because I guess some people might, I mean, I love the smell, but some people mm. might be a bit sensitive yeah. to scent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it looks so p pretty, I've seen people buy it even though it has no smell, just because it's such a beautiful tree. But then this one. Yeah, <laughs> and this one is smell. I gotta, I gotta tell <laughs> you, I could sit here and smell these um, needles mm. all day. It's yeah. very citrus and very grand, um, fragrant. A grand fir, mm -hmm. uh, citrus kind of a smell, but the needle retention is not very good. So, so you'd want to get that later in the I would, season. Yeah, I'd be waiting until you well into de December before I take take this inside. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And finally, a uh, Douglas fir, which is just your typical British Columbia Christmas tree, a cultured Douglas fir, which is a very standard. Not a great needle retention, but lovely tree. So many great options here at Aunt Leah's. Several locations, by the way, they open on Friday, so if you're looking at getting your tree as you kick off the Christmas season, this is the place to go, knowing that the money goes to a great cause. We'll have more details on that as well coming up in the next segment. We happen to be at the Aunt Leah's tree lot on Granville and 54th, but there are four locations to serve all your needs. Uh, how many trees will you actually um, have in your various lots there, Paul? Uh, We'll sell over 4,000 trees all together. Oh my goodness. And of course, all the proceeds go to a very good cause. We're going to talk about that in just a moment, but you get the tree home. How do we make sure it lasts and how do we take care of it properly? Uh, it's like when you buy a, a bouquet of flowers, you take it home, you cut the bottom off and you put it in the water. Same with a tree. Uh, we cut the bottom off, uh, take about an inch off the bottom, uh, then you got about an hour to get it into water. Then after that, because it's a big plant and it's inside and it's warm, it'll drink a lot of water. So the little rhyme, a liter a day keeps the needles away, <laughs> uh, is, is a helpful thing. But uh, so a tree like this, yeah, first few days it'll, it may drink a liter of water. Bigger trees may even drink more. But so, that, that, that's the key, is water, water, water. So any of those urban myths of what you should put in the water, this, that, maybe helps, maybe doesn't. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but get, that, get the water in there. <laughs> Excellent. And just uh, to confirm, too, when the needles fall off the tree, it's not necessarily an indication that you're not watering it enough. That just may be the life cycle of the yeah, tree. Eventually, eventually okay. that's, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks very much, Paul. But, you know, um, again, we talked about 100% of the proceeds, Angelina, going to Aunt Leah's place. I, I'm yes. looking at the space here. How is that even possible? Uh, we have tons of sponsors. Okay. We have volunteer, 450 volunteers. All of our land that we ha are on is all donated. So we just have a lot of great people that are coming out in the community to help Aunt Leah's and all the foster kids in Little Mainland. Let's talk about the programs that Aunt Leah's uh, provides for. Aunt Leah's mainly works on housing, training, and uh, life skills. So oh, those are the main things that we try to work with our kids with. And if anyone wants to get involved with Aunt Leah's Place, whether it's helping out um, maybe in future, you know, Christmases for the Christmas tree lot or in other ways, are there ways that people can help as well? Oh, yes. We have uh, volunteers and different things throughout the whole year for our different fundraisers, different events that we have and all different kind of things. Fantastic. For more details on all the locations of Aunt Leah's Place, um, you can check out their website. They open, by the way, they're back at the station. They open on Friday. So I know a lot of people are gearing up probably this weekend, Kyle, for Christmas. So it's the perfect perfect time to mark in your calendar. If you're going to buy a tree, if you're one of those people that can have a live tree, why not buy it at a place that supports, supports a great initiative? Yeah, and keeping with the season of giving, why not buy a tree that actually gives back Aunt Leah's Place? Angelina, for anyone who doesn't know what Aunt Leah's Place does and who you support, can you give people a little bit of information? Yeah, Aunt Leah's is a nonprofit organization. It's been around for 25 years and it helps foster kids in the Lower Mainland and young mums and their babies. And 100% of the proceeds when you buy your tree at any Aunt Leah's tree lot goes to those programs. Um, Paul, we, we've been talking about these great, beautiful trees, but you know, for someone who doesn't maybe have the space or the budget, you have other options. 
as well, right? Yeah, we have these little, uh, they're Alberta spruce, they're in a pot. If you can't have, can't have a cut tree in your, your place, you can get these uh, little guys here. Very and, cute. And decorate them up and keep them. And you uh, have wreaths? Yeah, we have wreaths and swags. We have a different kind of trees that aren't here yet. They're an old school kind of a tree and they're cheaper. That they're, uh, they're lovely trees too, they work well. Excellent, and people can also buy ornaments at your thrift shop as well, right Angelina? Yeah, we have Urban Thrift Store, which is on um, Broadway in Maine. Excellent, so we're gonna bag up this tree. First of all, what kind of tree is this again? It's a Fraser fir. A Fraser fir. So this is kind of your 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 typical beautiful tree that yes. people sort of imagine when they think of a Christmas tree. <laughs> and these are good ones that will last through the Christmas They'll season, last right? Through Christmas, yes. Okay. My son had one in his apartment still in March and still had the needles on. Excellent. So people come, <laughs> you guys get them all bagged up and ready to go. Yes. So these are the bags here. Yes. Okay. And so we can get a bag. Uh, the idea of these these is that, is that uh, if needles are a problem for you, you can buy these bags and. Uh, Take it home, and it'll cover the whole tree, and uh, really, really looks after the needle drop. Excellent. In, in your place. Yes. Such great, uh, uh, such great cause, and you guys have four lots, by the way. Um, time to get your tree this weekend. They open on Friday. Once again, for more details on Aunt Leah's place or the Aunt Leah tree lots, you can check out their website.